Hey everyone, welcome to day two of our Navigator of the Seas Mexican cruise. If you're new here, my name is Ken. I'm Andrea. And today is a sea day and there's so much to do and explore on the ship. We're gonna go ahead and dive right into it. Have you figured out what we're doing today? Well, yeah, I know what we're doing first. Let's go up to the Windjammer and get breakfast. <laughs> I can see they're open from 7 till 11. I'm pretty sure we missed breakfast in the main dining room. Let's see. Yeah, that ends in like three minutes. <laughs> the main dining room was open from 8 to 9.30, but if you want extended hours here in the Windjammer, it's 7 to 11. Lots of options from pastries, eggs, sausage, bacon, hash browns, fruit, yogurt, and a whole lot more. How's your food? It's really good. You think I learned though, there's no spoons wrapped in the cutlery, so wrap the spoons separately. I forgot, so I'm eating yogurt with my fork. <laughs> this morning the Lido deck is pretty quiet. There's lots of loungers still available to choose from. And also there's the fun dance fitness class that you can see happening up in the top right corner. It's a beautiful day out here. The seas are pretty calm and the sun's coming out. It's gonna be an awesome day here on the ship. If you're looking for a quiet place to drink coffee, in the back of the Cafe Promenade, there's a little room, a hidden room kind of. It's really quiet. We're the only ones back here, so. It's pretty quiet out here. Very quiet. Nice place to lounge. This is. Deck four, I believe, outside. Let's go check out the front of the ship. It's calm out here. It's very calm out here. I'm surprised. It's quiet. How did a seagull get all the way out here? Is it a seagull? I, I think so. There's two of them. Or maybe they it's something different. else. They're thinner. Oh, well, that's different. You can walk around at the back of the ship on deck four as well. If you've ever been curious where the service dogs relieve themselves, well, here you go. There's shuffleboard down here. Oh yeah. Oops. And the rules, because I would need that as well. In Studio B, there is free skate from 9.20 until noon today. However, you do need to make reservations ahead of time in the app to participate. It is complimentary, and I think we're gonna try this out later in the week. On the Royal Promenade, you will find the vacation necessity sales where these items are two for 30. You will find hats, perfect bags for up at the beach, and flip-flops. Inside the collection store, they've got plenty of Royal Caribbean and Navigator of the Seas gear. They've got hoodies here. These are $49.95. Towels. We bought some of those last time. I really like those. Those are $29.95. They've got construction toys. Some more towels there. Those ones look nice as well. Magnets, five for 40. And the sought after Navigator of the Seas models. We'll have to come out and enjoy the deck a little bit later this afternoon. It's pretty busy out here. Volleyball tournament going on. The pool's really full. But gorgeous day. Uh, 
El Loco Fresh. Yeah, it's actually out by the pool, but we've come back into the buffet where there's lots of seating and air conditioning. Nachos, choc tacos, what's in the wrapper? It's a burrito, which I haven't opened yet. Burrito. Looks good. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Hey, look who we have here. I think it's a bear. Not sure. What do you think it is? I'm going for bear. Yeah. How are your tacos and burritos? Oh, they're really good. And I yeah. had the pork. This is delicious. I think we're gonna go check out the napkin folding demonstration in the schooner bar. I like folding napkins. What he should learn to do is fold laundry for me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they'll have a laundry folding demonstration. <laughs> All right. A very good afternoon to each and everyone. How are you doing? Woohoo! Alright guys, before anything else, welcome, welcome to the beautiful Schooner Bar and welcome to your napkin folding session with your host in this afternoon. Let, let me introduce myself. My name is Nico Nico Ni, or Nico for short. And then fold it into half. Just like that, fold it into half. And make a roll. A big candle. Look it over like a pancake. Birthday to you. All right. You can see we learned a lot of different ways you can fold one napkin to make a lot of different creations. But after that, I think it's time for some more coffee. We're back in our spot for more coffee. More coffee. It's really funny, people don't see this spot back here because it's a mirror, so they don't realize there's another little room. Mm -hmm. The rest of the cafe promenade is pretty full, a couple spots, but back here it's quiet again. So, yeah. how was the towel folding demonstration? It was good, it was fun, yeah. it was fast. Yeah. We did a lot of different towels. So. Yeah. Pay attention because it's easy to miss a step. The test you later. Uh oh. <laughs> on the laundry or on the, on the Oh, napkins? on the laundry. <laughs> yeah. And then turn your jeans into like candles and. I was hoping for roses. <laughs> <laughs> It's belly flop contest time out by the main pool. competition was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. They're pretty brave out there jumping in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now we're gonna go enjoy some sunshine. Mm -hmm. Well, we are all dressed up for dinner. It's formal night tonight. It is formal night. Mm -hmm. I haven't peeked at the menu. Actually, no, I did earlier, but I totally <laughs> forgot what's on there. So. I remember, because you told me. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's but, good, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, well. There's a good menu tonight. So, yeah, we're heading down to formal night shortly. What a great afternoon. Perfect weather. You know, there's a lot of loungers or deck chairs upstairs on the Lido deck. Mm -hmm. There's lots of space, uh, lots of seats available. There was tons of seats available. Yeah, it was good. And lots of space in the hot tubs as well. Really big hot tubs, which is really nice because usually yeah. I'm complaining that there's not enough hot tub space, yeah. but the hot tubs are really big. Mm -hmm. I did notice though, the pool got emptied again. I don't think that's good news. I heard there's somebody may have had an accident yesterday in the pool, yeah. so they had to drain it. And then yeah. I noticed it was drained again today. Well, so. there was even a warning on the screen, make sure your kids uh, wait an hour after eating before they go swimming. So I think it had something to do with the uh, the pool being drained. So yeah, there was still the other pool though. So yeah, it was yeah. good. Um, but it was sunny. I got a little bit red out there as well. You did. I think I have a bit <laughs> of a sunburn, but we're good. Very good. good. So we are gonna head for dinner shortly. We're gonna go maybe snap some selfies for ourselves and go for dinner. King of the world. Woo. Do you think the captain's laughing? They must see this a hundred times a day. Oh, probably. Every single cruise too, I'm sure. <laughs> this is one of my favorite spots on the ship. Mine too. Wow. Feel the 
You can feel the humidity out here now. We must be in Mexico. <laughs> I can't see anything. It's so <laughs> bright. <laughs> the sun is bright. It's beautiful. What a wonderful night we had here on the Navigator. Such an amazing evening. We did. It was a fabulous day. Everything was perfect from the weather, mm -hmm. the food, our um, entertainment, entertainment, and interactions with staff and fellow cruisers. We had great conversation. Mm -hmm. An amazing day. Yeah, it was. And relaxing too. Yeah. Entertaining no. and relaxing. For sure. For sure. And we are well fed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was formal night, so we were in the main dining room. We had my time dining. We actually went a little bit early, and they got us in right away. So. It was awesome. I do want to mention though, even though it is formal dining, if dressing up is not your thing mm -hmm. or you love to dress up, there was a wide range tonight mm -hmm. of different outfits. So some people really like to get into the dressing up and other people mm -hmm. are, are just more traditional, yeah. uh, smart casual, I would say. I saw, didn't see any tuxes. I saw quite a, quite a few suits or like blazers. A lot of people with just a collared shirt like what I'm wearing. Um, some people with ties and some odd person even a little bit more casual than that. So um, quite a variety. of. I did of see some there. elegant dresses out there though. There yes. are some beautiful dresses. Oh, I was talking about the men. But. But. <laughs> <laughs> of but, course. Uh, I did notice some pretty dresses, of course. I was yeah. like, oh, I like that. <laughs> well, you have a nice dress. Well, thank well. you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's chat about what we had. So we, I had quite a few things. Do we have to admit to all of it? No, we don't have to admit to all of it. But we might. Just for <laughs> you, because we love you all, we will maybe <laughs> tell you our true confessions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Appies. Yes. One of my favorites. You know what? It was the taste of France tonight. And tonight was had a lot of my favorite Royal Caribbean mm. dishes on it. So a lot of good. goodies tonight. Yeah. Totally yeah. a lot of goodies. But so. we both started with the crispy buttermilk Cal calamari. Calamari, yeah. Now we've had this before and we loved it. So mm. I knew I was gonna order it again and it did not disappoint, it was delicious. Yeah, and the sauce, the dipping sauce is really good. And it has like a little green salad on the side that's really, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Yes, it's really good. one of my faves. Make sure you get that. As well as I had a salad, it was not Caesar salad. <laughs> they did have that on the menu, but I had the iceberg wedge salad, which had um, blue cheese dressing Mm -hmm. It's like a wedge of iceberg lettuce. Mm -hmm. It's fancy dancy on the plate. It's beautiful. The colors mm -hmm. on it are pretty and little bits of bacon on top. Bacon and chives and a few other things I think. It was really pretty. It's yeah. very attractive. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now we had the main, main dining the room. same. Our main dining Main entree. dish. Yeah. I'm going to say it's our main entree. We'll explain in a second. We both, both had the roasted beef tenderloin. We both had it in medium rare mm -hmm. and it was delicious. Really, really good. Super tender, easy to eat. Now, was there mashed potatoes with it? There was, and asparagus. And asparagus. I don't know, I just gobbled it all down. <laughs> now, Ken's was a fair bit smaller than mine. Significantly, actually. Yeah. yeah. So you asked... It was actually quite a small dish to begin with, um, but mine was fairly small. So I actually ordered also the chicken cordon bleu. So, <laughs> then they're like, are you, would you like something else? And I'm like, no, no, I'm good. He's like, are you sure? Are you sure? And then... I gave in because I wanted to know what the salmon tasted like. So I also had the herb salmon and it was good. Yeah, I tasted the salmon. It was actually really good. It was yeah. really good. So wonderful dishes tonight. The chicken cordon bleu had, um, well the chicken, it's kind of, I don't know what the coating would be. Anyway, there's like a, there's ham in there and cheese <laughs> and stuff, it's good. With um, mashed potatoes and veggies. I don't actually remember what came with my salmon because we got talking to the table next to us and, and then it was gone it was gone and it was my second entree and i ate everything so i don't know how that happened <laughs> dessert yes one of my favorite desserts as well mm -hmm. creme, creme brulee. brulee yeah the creme the brulee. coffee it's perfection and it had the hard layer on top i could yeah. even crack it and lift it up my favorite it was perfect it was perfect it was yeah. very good i enjoyed yeah. it a lot yeah excellent really. excellent dinner from there Yes, we, we finished in time to go to the early show. Yeah, we, um, so we rushed out of there. We actually, but there was quite a bit of seating in the um, Royal Theater. There was. And even, it wasn't full um, It's a the big show. theater, which mm -hmm. is so nice that you're not fighting for seats, which yeah. is really good. Yeah, the show, let me look at my notes here. Signature Productions Ballroom Fever. So it was at eight o'clock, which is the show we went mm -hmm. to. They also have a 10.15 tonight, so it was, 
It was really good. I'm gonna uh -huh. explain the show. Um, it was definitely like ballroom themed, the dancing. Can I say this? I, I enjoyed it, mm -hmm. but it's not something that I thought I would enjoy. Mm -hmm. It was different than kind of other stuff I've seen. Now, when I was watching it, I felt like I was watching an old classic black and white movie yeah. where right. the lead roles fall in love and they're singing to each other yeah. and then they end up ballroom dancing together. Lots of like classic ballroom dancing, spinning, that, beautiful outfits mm -hmm. and um, you can tell that light effects. The dancers were extremely talented, especially the lead dancers, like mm -hmm. just phenomenal. Like, very, very strong in the yeah. dancing. The vocals were great. Mm -hmm. It wasn't music that I was really familiar with. It was I recognized older music. a few songs, but it wasn't like, wasn't my It's style. not like when you go to the 80s rock karaoke where you know everything. It was. I wasn't singing yeah. along, <laughs> but I could tell definitely a very talented, mm -hmm. very family friendly. And show. not everything felt like it was 50s, 60s. It, a no, lot of it was no, modern, no. but kind of a lot of just ballroom dancing and very talented for sure. For sure, yeah, yeah, it was very good. But then we may have made this a This is the mistake. mistake. You know, I've talked before about my food film all because I always want to know what's happening <laughs> upstairs Wait, in the wind jammer. Look. Just go look. That's all I'm doing, looking. And you know, yesterday there was that area where they had the donuts that was one night only. Tonight there were crepes. Yeah. And I had this fear it might not be back. <laughs> yeah. So we may have had custom made crepes. They were beautiful yeah. and delicious. Big, full of all sorts of Strawberries toppings. Strawberries and uh, banana, chocolate. chocolate chips, chocolate sauce, whipping, whipping cream, cream, almonds. Plus there was more stuff, but mm -hmm. there was even Rice Krispies that you could put in it. I didn't try that. No, I didn't but <laughs> man, there was so much. That was in the wind jammer. That was yeah. in the wind jammer. So yeah, yeah. that happened. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, that's, we, we don't want to talk about that, <laughs> but it was good. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> yeah. So um, just a wonderful evening. Yeah. And tomorrow is one of my favorite places though. It is. Yes. It's Cabo and it's supposed to be beautiful tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The first time I went to Cabo it poured rain, which mm -hmm. rarely happens in Cabo. So That was on the sister ship to this one. Yes. On the Mariner. <laughs> so this is on the Navigator tomorrow. So hopefully it doesn't rain. No, it won't. It's going to be perfect gonna be tomorrow. Sunny. Yeah. And yeah, we have an amazing day planned for tomorrow. Um, we're hoping to do some snorkeling. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And it's going to be an awesome day in Cabo or Cabo. I'm not. <laughs> we're going to have to ask a local tomorrow. Is it Cabo or Cabo? Because we need to get some the clarification. The people I talk to say Cabo, but I've had a few people say Cabo. And we're not sure. We're going to find out tomorrow. Yeah. So we don't want to get scolded. So, <laughs> so Cabo, Cabo. Um, that's tomorrow and if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the rest of this week's adventures we're having such a great time here on the navigator we are heading to bed and we will see you tomorrow take care